Welcome back. We are back in class, back playing Love is Strange because I am obsessed with this game. Um, I'm so jittery, I can barely pay attention in class. Oh yeah, by the way, we're flying blind from now on. This is as far as I got in my first session, was like to this point. Like, I managed to get here, got caught up on the stuff in the journal, and proceeded to close the game thinking, ah, oh, that's session one in the bag. <laughs> yeah, So completely right about that, Mina. You dumb fucking idiot. Anyway, so generally we barely pay attention to class. Every time the light shifts, I just get distracted. Thinking about what to do for the photo, when I should text Chloe, what kind of angle I want to take. Even if we don't win, this photo is going to be important to me and to Chloe. It's going to be the last thing we do together before she goes. It's going to be ours. I was almost late to class today anyway, which isn't helping my distraction. I forgot Chloe doesn't set alarms, of course, so I just woke up to Joyce yelling for me and Chloe's elbows in my face. She'd only grumbled and rolled over when I'd untangled our legs, got dressed, and hurried out the door, so she's probably still asleep. Yeah, hello. Oh my god, it's still going. Just as I think so, though, my phone buzzes. I have to wait for the teacher to turn around before I can check it. Meet me out front in ten minutes. In front of the school? Yes, Max, in front of the school. I look out the window, a little anxiously. But of course she's not there. Knowing Chloe, she'd probably just rolled out of bed, waking and begging as I think about her. My class ends in 10 minutes. I have another one starting up in 20. I know that Chloe knows that. I don't know what she's planning yet, but whatever it is, it's probably something totally irresponsible. Something Joyce would shake her head disapprovingly at, at the very least. Morty. I shove my phone back into my pocket and I do my best to focus back in on the lesson. I'm too old for Chloe's shenanigans to be giving me butterflies. Chloe isn't out front when I hurry outside after class, so I'm stuck waiting for five minutes, checking between the road and the time, and worrying about class and Chloe in regular intervals. I'm checking my phone for the fifth time when there are three sharp honks of a car horn, and I look up to see Chloe's truck parked in front of the academy steps, her grinning at me from the inside. Hey there. I hurry over, slipping my phone back in my pocket and folding my arms up on the gap left by the open window. Hey. Excited to see me? Naturally. That just makes her grin wider at me, and I just smile back, leaning forward a little so there's less of a barrier between us. Uh, <laughs> I can't get enough of me. <laughs> He really won't get off my case this week. At first she just she looks startled. Then when she sees my expression, which I'm sure is just a stupid grim, she just beams at me. Scooting closer to the window so we're face to face. Don't pull this on me, Caulfield. You're the one who wanted to partner up in the first place. Because I knew no one else would bear to put up with you. <laughs> She gasps in mock offense, pressing a hand to her chest. Then she grins, just grins at me, leaning forward a little more. No one else would be able to handle me. I'm about to retort, hopefully with something snarky and clever, but then our noses brush. Oh. <laughs> I hadn't realized she'd gotten so close. Out of instinct, I lean back a little, surprised. Chloe blinks at me then gives a nervous chuckle and leans back, too. Anyway, speaking of, what do you say we get this show on the road? He 
you seriously want to ditch right now? You seriously don't? Chloe, I have class in... Right now, actually. You do too, if I'm remembering correctly. You are honestly such a square. As I'm wiggling at her unironic use of square as an insult, she just rolls her eyes in my direction and goes on. Come on, dude. If there was ever a reason to cut class, it's to do this. You're pursuing your passion or whatever, right? Don't pretentious art schools like Blackwell have an addendum that excuses absences if you're inspired or something? I doubt it. And your best friend who's leaving town tomorrow is telling you to. Well, and the sky's really pretty right now. Look. I don't know if she's being sincere or just teasing with me, but when I tilt my head back to look at the sky, it is really pretty. A clear blue leaching out from the fading pinks and purples of early morning. I sigh. You'll get me in trouble. Now, fuck it. Let's just go. Let's go, then. Chloe raises an eyebrow, but reaches forward and, un and unlocks the door anyway. Jeez, I thought you'd be a harder sell. I climb into the truck, toss my bag underneath my feet. What made you think that? You always get so whiny whenever I try to get you to do something... What's the word you like? Delinquent, right? She pouts in my direction for show, and I shove and laugh... And sh I shove and laugh at her shoulder? What the fuck was that? I laugh and shove at her shoulder. <laughs> Who's whining? She chuckles, spinning her keys around one finger. I lean back and watch them circle. Besides, it's not like convincing me to be with you is that hard to sell. The keys fly off her hand and hit the dash. I flinch at the sound before glancing back at her in surprise. Oh, you... you little... Oh, you cuties. She'd winced when the keys crashed against the car, too, but now she's just looking at me, a little wide-eyed. This time I really can't help but get kind of flustered. Honestly, Max, could that have sounded more gay? <laughs> like, you haven't been sounding just massively gay this entire time. Like, come on. Um. No, no, I, I get it. I know I'm irresistible. Among other things. All good things, though. I just chuckle, unable to deny it and reach down to get her keys back for her. She turns the car on, the truck hitting a few times before- kicking a few times while just- a, a similar word, but not quite what I was going for. Kicking a few times before rearing into action. All right, let's bail, before the dog freaks. I'm sure they'll understand. I mean, the deadline was so short, I bet tons of people are scrambling. Dude, who cares? You are officially... She pauses for a few seconds, just long enough to pull out of the academy property. Off Blackwell grounds. God, living at school must really fuck with your head. No worrying about class or deadlines or homework for the rest of the day, alright? If you say so. Nope. You're the one in charge here, Max. You're calling the shots. Get it? Calling the shots? It's like it's... Like it's a photo pun? Mm, you're hilarious. I know. Anyway, I want you to say, I'm not going to worry about class or deadlines or homework for the rest of the day. Okay, okay, I won't. Word for word. I just roll my eyes, trying not to giggle. I fail. Isn't paraphrasing good enough? Chloe scoffs, then suddenly the, tr the truck slows to what is basically a crawl. Chloe leans back lazily against the seat, looking at me sideways. I mean, I guess it's passable, but so is, you know, reaching our destination two hours from now. Chloe! I'm not going to worry about class, or deadlines, or- You're such a pain in the ass! I end up having to deliver it through giggles. 
I'm not going to worry about class or deadlines or homework for the rest of the day. Happy? And my best friend Chloe Price is going to have my undivided attention. I smile at her, leaning back against the seat. And my best friend Chloe Price is going to have my undivided attention. She grins back at me, revving the car back up to it's probably a little above the speed limit. And also, I'm finally going to admit she's the hottest person I've ever in your dreams. She laughs, high and pleased, and I smile, facing forward again, settling farther down into the cracked leather. My eyes catch suddenly on the reflection of glass up against the dash. Oh... It's the photo of Chloe and me, tweeny pirates, the frame vibrating along with the buzz of the truck and glinting in the sun. Almost, almost. (sighs) Chloe follows my gaze, then chuckles. I'm gonna need to tape it down or something. But jeez, how am I gonna commit any misdemeanors when I got this face following me around? She flicks one finger against Tween Max's face, twisting her face up in a forced scowl, and I just grin, pleased. You say that like it's a bad thing. It is a bad thing. Still, though, she can't keep up the scowl when she looks back at me. Thanks, though. It's nice. Sure. All right, enough of this mushy shit. Let's get this show on the road. She brings us up to 10 miles per hour over the speed limit, and then we're really on our way. Oh, shit, we're at the lighthouse now. Oh, and that's the end of this episode, so thank you so much for watching. Check out Love is Strange. Hit me up with them advice comments and and shiz and i'm gonna have another little drink so see you next time bye Mm.